Perception, year one, year two, it's me, Mr. A, back with um, story time for another day. And today's story is The Mouse Who Sailed the Seas, right, by Amy Sparks and Nick East. So, there's uh, lots of different kinds of smelly cheese on the front page there. Stinky boots, whiffy wallop, bishop's socks, fiery red, and smelly burt, sweaty Betty. Right, so, The Mouse Who Sailed the Seas. A mouse he went to sail the seas, he sailed the seas to look for cheese, but all he found were bumblebees. A mouse he went to sail the seas, but all he, he sailed the seas to look for cheese, but all he found were bumblebees and aliens like purple peas. A mouse he went to sail the seas, he sailed the seas to look for cheese. But all he found were bumblebees and aliens like purple peas and goats with very hairy knees. A mouse he went to sail the seas. He sailed the seas to look for cheese. But all he found were bumblebees and aliens like purple peas and goats with very hairy knees and Elves who had a magic sneeze. Achoo! Now a boat that's on a quest for cheese, piled up high with bumblebees, and aliens like purple peas, and goats with very hairy knees, and elves who had a magic sneeze. Achoo! Cannot sail the seas with ease. There came a noisy groaning creak. The mouse let out a worried squeak. For now the boat began to leak. Oh dear. The elves let out a magic sneeze. Ah, ah, choo! Ooh. The goats with very hairy knees nibbled through their ropes with ease, while the aliens, like purple peas, saved the mouse who searched for cheese. Ropes, check. Bees, check. Map, check. Spaceship, check. Bzzz. Then pulled up by the bumblebees, mouse floated high above the seas. Beyond the sky, above the breeze, he sailed up into space with ease. Until he found a land of cheese. very comfortable in his hammock there on the moon eating cheese at the end and all that smelly cheese is now gone well thanks very much for uh, following along with that and I shall see you um, next time for uh, another story have a great day everybody bye bye take care